Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, November 27, 2021. And this is Coffee and Crypto, or as we occasionally call it, Shitcoin Saturday. <laughs> as far as the labeling system over here, as I've been saying quite a bit, cyan means I'm free rolling, means I've hit the initial profit target, and I'm trailing a stop at break even or above. I guess that's orange. Orange is the same as purple. It's just I have it in a different account. Purple means that I have a an initial profit target in place and a protective stop in place. A couple of things I want to talk about today, and basically it's going to re repeat a lot of things I've said before. One thing is it, it does take a lot of time, especially if you're doing the, the RS swap. And so by RS swapping or hot potato swapping, as I occasionally call it, or prettier girl swap, and what you're doing is you want to be in the prettiest girl on the list, or the prettiest girls in the list, or prettiest guys, if that's what you're into. Or, if you're into both, I guess you're a greedy bastard, as Dennis Miller says. But, uh, before I digress too far, anyway, you want to, you're looking to get into the stronger ones. For instance, yesterday I got into Ant, and it was, I don't know, I don't remember exactly where it was, but it rallied 20%, and then I have my stop at break even on that one and you basically just look at get in and sometimes you get in a little late like I just got in this one a few minutes ago just because I was jockeying for positions and I missed the initial move the other thing too is you're playing the RS game sometimes while you're asleep these big moves happen and you miss them but so far I'm underwater on this one because I bought it nosebleed levels and I have a small position here so I'm not too too worried about that but I felt like I wanted to play along pink means it's in another account and I need to do something with it. in this case this is a small position and I'm not running IPTs, I'm just running a stop on this and trailing a stop higher. And this is one I bought yesterday as it was beginning to rally. Let's take a look at some of the other ones. Blue, by the way, is something I'm thinking about, or at least once was thinking about, or something I like to watch, like a loin coin or whatever this thing is. I just think it's because there's a lot of hysteria over it. But so far, or lately I should say, not doing well. Did really well on this one a long time ago. Not so much lately. But anyway, so the blues are just something I'm thinking about, or at least was. Now, this is something that looks like core methodology. In fact, I actually did just go long this one in another account, kind of front-running the setup. So this one needs to be purple on here. I do have an IPT in place. By the way, for the initial profit target right now, just to keep life easier, I'm using 20%. And that's that seems to be working fairly well. I think at some point in time, I might have to adjust to the volatility of the pair. Some of these higher price ones, like maybe like Soul or something like that, that might be a bit ambitious. Maybe a 10% move and something like that might make more sense. But for now, I'm using 20% on these. And this is what I just got in. I'm kind of front-running the core methodology. Speaking of the core methodology, the core methodology is a little bit easier to trade in these things and requires a little bit less work. For instance, Crew, and we'll come back to, to that one. But crew, I put an order in overnight, kind of an aggressive entry, and I already have crew in another account where I'm free rolling, and I also have mine some off, so to speak, and I'll show you that in just one second. But crew is one that I kind of front ran this kind of pullback a little bit. Front ran, front run means kind of get in early in the pullback. Technically, maybe about right here would be a new entry on this one. But I went ahead and just put a stop in overnight. So the core methodology, you can get stopped in and you can't go about your life and let the let the market stop you in to things. The other thing again with the, the RS, and I think I said this already, is that sometimes you're playing the RS game and, and the big moves happen overnight, kind of like on that trade. So I might be a little late to the party on that one. I think I'm in this one like at 184 or 180 and something, uh, 180 handle. So I'm already underwater in this one. SCLP I put on earlier today and this is just playing the RS game and again it's kind of like you must be present to win. This is a little bit of core methodology too and that's kind of my favorite. If you can get a, something strong in the RS, something that comes up high in the list when you sort by percent change and it's core methodology meaning a pullback type of setup. I find it works really really well. NUM is just one I bought because it was going up and 250 or 257 somewhere in there is my IPT now one thing that I've found on some of these gaming one, uh, gaming ones or I don't know I guess you call them gaming ones like based on games and all they tend to really go really fast now it's it's probably stupid <laughs> you know and, and not viable longer term and 
I have made the mistake of confusing the issue with facts a little bit and doing a tiny bit of research or at least watching a couple of YouTubes on some of these. And some of these do have purposes like moving files around and things like that. These ones based on games just seem kind of silly to me, but when they go, they can really, really, really go. And they were a lot of fun to trade. I know we're not doing this for fun, right? <laughs> Let's see what else is happening here. Ava triggered in overnight. This is core methodology. Again, this is one I put in a stop entry on order in overnight, and it popped up, hit the IPT, and then I've got to stop at break and even even on this. As you can see, kind of core methodology type of setup. In fact, it was sort of core methodology back here, and I did play this one quite a bit, and I've been in and out of this one a lot. But look how textbook this is right here. Okay. Oh, for those keeping score, by the way. Bar 1, bar 2, the entry for the 230 EMA would have been way back here. And I'll go in and check trades to see how many I've taken. I know I've traded this one a lot. It's becoming one of my favorites, which I know could be a little scary if you start falling in love with these things, right? But anyway, nice rally higher, lots and lots of daylight, or Landry light as I could now call it. And then a nice little pullback, almost to the EMA, but close enough. And again, on some of these, as I've said before, when they rocket higher... The EMA may be too far to wait for a pullback. So that's when it's kind of core methodology. And I could see longer term. Right now, I'm still finding my way. But longer term, I probably need to spend more time just working with the core methodology. Anchor's another one that took off last night. In fact, Anchor and Ava and Ant and Mask, I think I'll hit the IPT either late yesterday or overnight. And what I've been doing, by the way, once these things hit the IPT, is I mine off a little bit. And let me explain to you what I mean by that. So here's my coin collection, so to speak. And this account's only been open up, oh, I don't know, maybe a month or so, if, if that long. And what I've been doing is like CRO hit the IPT several times. And each time, I'm just taking off like 50 bucks. And let's say I put 1,000 in and it rallies to 1,200. I sell half and I take 50 bucks out of that profit and just bring it over here, just keep it in the same coin, and try to forget about it or lend it out to make some money or whatever. And in some cases, I also have an account that's staked that has quite a few. So you can see it here, the ones that are up toward the top of the list, two things have happened. One, I've hit more than one profit target. Remember the AVAX I was just talk talking about and how much I love that one. So this is probably two, at least two, and maybe three, initial profit targets where I peeled off like 50 bucks each. And my thinking is I'm mining, so to speak, the coins off as opposed to hooking up some mining rigs here and dealing with all the stress that. I know I've said this a lot of times, but I just want to repeat it. And Elon's probably one I've been in a couple times. And you can see, just going to hang on. And if some of these hit, that would be fantastic. And if not, so what? These are, this is profits or part, just very uh, small partial profits and I guess not maybe that small it does add up but you see toward the bottom of the list some of these aren't really doing so well down here but that's okay I'm just going to let them go and see what happens and I know this isn't really a trading thing but I if if the bull market continues and that's a big if right and it's crypto and some of these altcoins will become viable okay and I know everybody's saying oh the next bitcoin I mean who knows but I think some of these if you do a little research some of these I could see where they could be viable longer term this crypto.com, I have no idea what they do, but that's there's a lot of excitement around this one, obviously, with all the news events lately, renaming the Staples Center uh, more specifically. So I think that's about it for now. Um, it, it's a lot of fun with the, with the hot swapping, as I said, or the prettier girl swapping, but you know we're not in this for fun, so you do have to be careful. But like right now, if you were playing that game, let's just see what's in here. You see, this one's already ran quite a bit while you were sleeping, right? Again, trade, I got in this one like 180, so I might stop out of that one. Ants already kind of shot higher, hit the IPT, and now I'm free rolling on that one. ENS, again, small position there, but you can see that I am in some of these that are pretty hot here. This one looks good right now, XNL, so this would be a buy right now. And let's see real quick. Okay, just to show you how hot swapping could work or Pretty or girl swap. And so I just bought X and now we'll put a pink on here so I'll deal with that when I'm done with this recording. And I exited out of trade for a small loss. Now you can see it could be a lot of trading and it also can lead to a lot of frustration because a lot of times I'm going through my charts in here and I'll see little arrows where I bought previously 
I see that they come back in a little bit and then of course take off afterwards. Let's just, for curiosity, let me just see what this one is. Okay, this looks like one of those silly game related cryptos. And remember, I'm not making a bet, so to speak, and I guess you should call it bets with these crazy things. I'm not making a bet that this is going to be the next big thing. I'm just making a bet that it's going to go at least 20% higher. And you can see it's already up 30% for the day. So it does take a leap of faith to do this. You will get stopped out a lot. And again, it can be a lot of attrition. I don't know if I said this earlier, but if you're in and out of these a lot of times, there can be a, little, a lot of attrition, especially if it's a, it's a thinner one. So you, you're going to get a little skittage or slippage, whatever you want to call it, in and out. But if you're using limit orders with the IPT and they spike up and you're able to nail that IPT and get that stop to break even, then it works out pretty good. But again, a lot of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess frictional cost. If you're in and out, in and out, because I lost a little bit on this trade, you can see it's now lower than when I, where I got out of it so far. And then I hopped in to this one. And let me get a fill on this one. Okay, so this one I'm in at at 102, so pretty much right where we are now. So let me see if I get this arrow to go here. And we'll see what happens. And so 102, roughly, that's going to be about a 120. IPT. So IPT is only going to be like right there. It doesn't look that far away, does it? I mean, based on the scale and all, I know it's kind of fuzzy logic. But these things, when they move, they can move quickly. And this is kind of cool because it's a nice little base that it's coming out of. Keep in mind, as I've said, ad nauseum, and I know I'm kind of beating a dead horse, but I get a lot of questions that I have to repeat myself anyway. So I'm not a huge breakout fan player or RS player like this where you're just buying the hot ones. But in an inefficient market that has a lot of excitement and a lot of greater fools coming in, it can work really, really well. And I think that's it for today. If y'all have any questions, y'all let me know. Uh, this will post to Facebook first. So if you're in the Facebook group, uh, you guys should see should see this in a little while. I'll put a post there. And it's Saturday morning at about 940. And then I'll post it later today to YouTube. Everybody have a great day and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you so much.